So here's the <clears throat> last little bit that still has track. Right from edge of a road there. I think it's something or other road. Around well, 55th or so street. Now this goes just about to the overpass there by the causeway. It uh, was a siding and a main line. It used to be rail yards over here and a co op building center was serviced by this at one point in time. That was the last thing on this line before they took it out. This pesky crossing from where it ends now, they had tracks in there for ages with stop signs that people got so tired of stopping for nothing, a lot of people just blew right over it. Got my handy walking stick. I'll get out of the shadows into the light. Made out of some random things I found. A tree that was blown over but still green, so it's pretty flexible. And uh, a nut, square nut, and a clip from uh, the tracks. But uh, walking along here, it just starts out a little bit of old ties and rail, and then eventually just some piles here and there. And that's about it. A lot going on over this way other than some hobos that have been burning some stuff. Probably the uh, the ties soaked in creosote and oil and such. Lots of other random knickknacks. Good spot to get some cool uh, railroad spikes and stuff. rail weighting and sizing and all that yeah so just every so often here and had a mule deer but uh, it ran off too quick before I could get the camera up just a young thing ended up spooking it and it ran but uh, yeah not much for wildlife today some kids playing up ahead by the looks of it some houses up the hill and you know probably a hundred meters 150 meters to the west here some houses and kids like to come play along the tracks and in the bush here some nice walking trails in there but, uh, just keep on keeping on this is a neat spot here 
got some little marsh area. The uh, river's just on the other side of those trees there to the east. Little road comes in this way. Old uh, wooden rail crossing from a zillion years ago. It's all rotted out and rails of course are ripped out now. And an industrial area here, Riverside Heavy Industrial. You got the Oli Mill plant, Highway 9, and a couple of things like an oil field company and a construction office. <clears throat> so it's a neat little mix along the abandoned rail hike. Some more random rail placed here and there. Got a switch for another siding coming up. Been hanging in the water by the looks of it. Okay. Yeah, this is neat. You can see kind of the mechanics of how this here switch would have worked back in the day. And it's still actually, you can move it. It's neat. Okay, switch hands here. Pretty cool, eh? Let's lock that thing that way. There we go. It's pretty darn cool. All some parts and everything to make it all slide. Heavy stuff. A frog, or whatever the heck they call that thing on that show. The thing that goes in between the thing. And then just up this way. We've got the end of the line, which uh, is not too far. And then, well, I should say the end of the old line, there's still a rail repair, a GATX has a little yard that's serviced by that line. So at the edge of 77th Street here, 10 blocks north of that overpass, 67th Street, is the end of the live line. Like I say, it only just serves GATX so they can repair their cars or however that works. A buddy of mine used to work there. Well, he would uh, know more about that. So require take his brain on that. But yeah, just uh, just up ahead, I don't know if you can actually see, there's some concrete blocks and then a car. Whoa, there's my finger. Let's try this here, right there, right where the truck's crossing. There's some concrete blocks there, and that's the end of the line. 